Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our partner 56. Inside this video, we will see about scaffolding files of Jetstream with LeafWire. This is the authentication tool we had installed in our application inside last video. So if I back to browser, this is our application and this is our database. Now inside this, as you can see that we have two links called login and register. So in the last video, we had installed Jetstream and by the help of Jetstream, we had installed our leave wire package. So if we click on this login button, so here we have the login page as well as also we have a forget your password. This is the layout back here, go back. If we click on this register, we have a register layout. So how can we find the associated Blade template files? And also, how can we detect that behind the scene how it is working? So let's say that we are going to register a user, so online at gmail.com. So before registration, if you go to database, now here we have a table called users. So right now inside this table, we have a single user entry. Now back here, let's say that we are going to register user. So this is our email address. Password is from 1 to 8. When we click on this register button, as we can see that successfully now we have registered to this application and we are currently redirected on the dashboard so back to db click on browse so now as you can see that we have the second row entry what we have registered via our front end so if i back to editor so when we install jetstream means while installing jetstream package we will get the files called app means inside this app folder we have a actions folder and inside this actions folder, we should have a folder called Jetstream. Also, if you go inside our config folder, inside this config folder, we will have a file called Jetstream.php. If I collapse, again go inside this resources folder, views folder, and inside this views folder, we have a auth folder. Inside this auth folder, we can see all these blade template files. Like we have for the forget password, login, register, reset password, two-factor challenge, as well as verify email. Along with all these blade template files, if we click on any of the template, as we can see that we are using, or let's say Jetstream is using the component-based methods. So as we know that to find the component means components associated with this layout. So as we can see here, we have X hyphen, X hyphen, which is indicating that we have a component. And if we go here, we have a name called guest hyphen layout. So to find this component, first of all, go inside this app folder. Here we have a view folder components and inside this components folder as we can see that we have a file called guest layout.php inside this guest layout class we have a method called render which is rendering all about the guest bleed template file from layouts folder so to find this file go here inside this resources next we need to go inside this views inside this views we will have a layouts folder here it is and inside this layouts folder we have a file called guest.blade.php so when we install jetstream package these are the files by default will be generated these also we had discussed inside the authentication when we had learned about breeze package means authentication in laravel using breeze now next let's discuss about what are the files we will get while installing LeafWire. So collapse this folder, close this file. So first of all, when we install our LeafWire package, go to config folder. Here we have a file called fortify.php. 
inside this file, as you can see, we have the feature of registration, reset password, update profile information, update passwords, and here we have two-factor authentication. So if we go to browser, go here, let's log out from here. Now as you can see that we have two links called login and register. In some cases, we don't want this feature called register. Simply go to editor and let's comment or why not actually comment all the features. So if I comment all the features provided here, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that we have no register like feature inside this application. We have only a login page. So this is how we have removed the registration feature from this features list. Again if we go uncomment that it means we have enabled. Go and reload this page. Now we have a register link. Go to login. Let's login from the user in my app and the password. So this is the dashboard what we are getting. Now inside this, as we can see that we have a profile and logout option. So if we click on profile, now inside this profile page, as we can see that we have only two options. First option is to check the browser sessions. It means how many sessions we have activated or let's say activate for this logged in account. And the second option we have for the delete account. If I back to editor, as we can see that inside this 45.php file, we have actually disabled the feature of update profile information. So if we want to enable the feature of update profile, so uncomment that, save these changes. If I go and reload this page, so as we can see that apart from these two options, what we had discussed, we have another option called profile information. So here we have name and the email what we have filled at the time of registration. And simply here we have a save button. Also, if I back to editor, if I go to this actions folder, it means app, actions. And inside this actions folder, here we have a folder called fortify. And inside this fortify folder, we can see that we have some classes files called update user password. And here we have called update user profile information dot php so if i open up this file now inside this file as we can see that we have a update method as well as we have a update verified user now inside this method it will update the email means name email and email verified at but in the case of update method we are updating name email and profile photo. So again, if you go inside this config folder, jetstream.php file and inside this file, if I scroll down, also we have a features list here. It means we have a features list available inside this fortify as well as the features is also available inside this jetstream.php. So if I go and uncomment this first feature called profile photos. Go and reload this page. Right now, keep in mind, we have only two options available. So if I go and reload this page, now as we can see that we have a update profile photo now, a section. From this section, we can upload a icon. Here we can find or update our name and email and click on save button. So after passing all these details, we are just simply hitting the method of update user profile information and here we have the update method. So this is how the feature of update profile information basically flows. Now if you go inside this profile, as we can see that we have two options called profile and logout. Also inside this profile information page, we don't have any two-factor authentication. So to enable that, as we know inside this fortify.php, we have commented. So first of all, we need to uncomment that feature, save this change, go and reload this page. 
and if I scroll down as we can see that we have a two-factor authentication. This is how we are enabling the features of LeapWire. Now inside this profile section if you go at the top click on here so we have a profile and a logout button. So simply if you go to editor and let's enable the feature of call update passwords so I'm going to enable that go and reload this page now inside this update profile information now we have one more section with the name of update password so inside this update password module or section we have now need to pass our current password new password and confirm password so this is all about our new module again if you go to editor go inside this our actions folder 45 folder and here we have called update user password so when we change any password from here it will hit the action module called update user password so here we have the current password and password so this is how the update profile information means update password is working and one more thing before closing this video if I back to editor go inside this jetstream.php in the previous video we had discussed that when we install jetstream so along with the jetstream we have two available options like leave wire as well as we have the option of inertia chase as we had seen also inside previous video that is leave wire has more comfortable features with dot bleed, tom bleed template files as well as when we are working let's say for the Vue.js application for the component based application so in that case we need to change our stack from leave wire to inertia.js so now in the last video we had installed jetstream and also by the help of jetstream we had installed leave wire so inside this configuration file of jetstream called jetstream.php as we can see we have the stack of leave wire also inside jetstream we have a feature of team section so I'm not going to discuss about this feature inside this video and also in the next video we will see all about jetstream with inertia chase authentication package so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day